I'm opening up this wall. I'm talking about that wall. Uh... What, Katie? Uh huh. Ah! <laughs> I What is up my crazy subscriber, this is Joe King John City 4 and hopefully you guys enjoyed that mini clip of Rainbow Six Siege in the beginning of the video. I was like, what the hell are you doing Ash? Stop booting dancing on the floor, I don't want to see your booty, I gotta go through the damn window and I'm not even sure if I'm gonna get shot or not. So stop it Ash, I don't want to see your booty right now. I found it hilarious man, I swear, because the last time I saw something similar was back in Battlefield 4. Like the body twitching after death, like that's the last time I saw something similar and I was like, stop booty dancing soldiers so if you guys want to see more mini clips similar to this you know leave a like in the video and also leave a comment if you guys want to see some change here on my channel leave me, let me know you know i'll change it up a little bit for the people for the subs so anyways moving on to the main topic of today which is about my channel update june 2017 edition now my channel updates are about pretty much my future plans with my channel and also my plans of this current month you know what i'm going to bring to the table what new games and everything you know i'm just going to talk it up and uh, also, you guys want to you know throw me some ideas, you know, let me know in the comment section. So uh, my plans are already in effect. You know, I was supposed to do this video like in the first day, I swear, but I had like a little trouble, you know, doing some some stuff in real life, so um, I had to hold it off for a few days. But now it's here. So, anyways, you guys already seen the, my plan go into effect. You know, I've been live streaming some Rainbow Six Siege. You guys have, you guys have enjoyed it too. Like, I, I'm surprised about that because you know I'm a noob over here. I barely even know the game. I barely even know the characters. I don't even know the map names, but I'm still playing it. So I was surprised when people saw me play Rainbow Six Siege and wanted to see more of that. So I was like, wow, you know, they really want to see. They really want to see this new play. Like for real, is this Call of Duty players playing? Ghost, uh, Ghost Recon. This this Call of Duty player is playing Rainbow Six Siege and he sucks balls, but yet people want to watch him. Like, super weird. Um, but yeah, I wasn't expecting this. It was it came out like a good effect, and um, I'm gonna keep on doing this. I'm gonna keep on live streaming. And the reason why another there's another reason why though besides you know the positive feedback, the main reason why I switched from commentaries, gameplays, and other stuff is because. I feel like the live stream is the way to go this summer because I didn't want to spam you guys with seven different videos about Call of Duty World War II and just spam your timeline like crazy. I didn't want to do that this year and I didn't want to, you know, put some misleading titles in for you just for you guys to, you know, get a cheap click out of it. So I wanted to hold all that off. Like I just wanted to stay away from Call of Duty for a while all this summer. And not until September because I know the beta is going to come on September 10th. And, and I'm glad I don't have a lot of s subscribers here watching me because if they knew about the leak, <laughs> if they knew about the, the Call of Duty leak right now that I just said about the beta, people will go nuts. I'm glad I don't have that much of a big fan base watching me right now active um, because it would have been a big, big no-no by my part. But it, the, the beta for Call of Duty World War II is going to be in September and uh, once September hits, you know, I'm, of course, I'm going to stop live streaming and uh, I'm going to start playing the beta and reporting Call of Duty World War II. So right now, Rainbow Six Siege 24-7 live streaming and everything, that's what's going to be going on this whole month. Another thing that I might be adding on the live streams too, on the live stream series, will be Throwback Thursdays. And that will be consisting of PS2 classics, uh, maybe PS3 games, or even some games that are two years older, like maybe like Battlefield 4, Battlefield Hardline, uh, Battlefront is two years old. Wait, is it two years old? I don't even know. <laughs> I, I didn't play that game much because I that game sucked so bad. Right? It, was, it was too casual. But um, but yeah, like this going to be like more classics showing up here on my channel on Thursdays only because, you know, throwback Thursdays, right? So... Um, so yeah, that's gonna happen on Thursdays most of the time. As for the regular live streams, um, I might be throwing Overwatch under the bus because nobody watches it. Apparently, everybody is, is gotten tired of Overwatch, and like I can't believe in one live stream I got like zero views for Overwatch, and I was thinking like, wow, I should really stop doing Overwatch then, because I thought Overwatch. I mean, they're getting like updates like crazy, but apparently my my fan base don't want to watch it, so. I gotta stick with Rainbow Six Siege, and I know people are getting surprised by the stuff that I do here because I don't have a lot of experience. Like I said before, people are watching a new play because it's really unexpected. Like nobody knows what's gonna go on. Like this one guy said, 
on my live stream, he said that um, you know, I'm really unpredictable because I don't even, I don't really know the maps. I don't know anything, and I'm not always winning. I, I'm I lose half of the time. So I'm guessing that's entertainment for you all, because <laughs> because yeah, I think it's kind of true. Like if I were to win every single match, you guys already know. You guys already know that I'm gonna win. Like I, I'm a pro and. And that wouldn't be looking good. Nobody would even stay because you guys already know I'm going to get like around... I will be averaging like maybe like around three to four kills per gameplay. With no problem. And that will be turning a little, out a little bit boring. That's why I kept saying maybe I should not live stream Call of Duty. Because Call of Duty would have had that effect. I will be pretty good. Because in Black Ops 3 I went like over 100 kills like a few times. And it, I didn't have no problem with that game. And for me to be live streaming that game... And also, I don't like live streaming Call of Duty because I get distracted. So, when when it comes down to Call of Duty, I go all out. So that's why I don't live stream that game at all. And also, I gotta record some gameplays too, but like alone, so I can talk about tips and tricks and all that stuff. But uh, for Rainbow Six Siege, it's just all fun and games, man. That's why I'm doing this for Rainbow Six Siege. So that is it, people. You guys want to see more live streams, more Rainbow Six Siege? Let me know in the comment section. And also, like the video. See more of this cool stuff coming up. So, I'll see you guys later. Subscribe for more Rainbow Six Siege.